Lord. Amen. Welcome. Welcome to Monday Night Prayer here at Whitehorse Christian Center. And we are glad that you have joined us tonight. Uh, it's going to be a powerful night. It keeps building and building. Momentum keeps growing. Um, if you had been able to catch yesterday's service online at the 10 o'clock service, it was powerful. Uh, Pastor Jeff was on fire, I would say. And the Lord has restored and is restoring his strength. Amen. It was incredible um, and really realigned our focus. And so I'd like to start out with a psalm as I was thinking about it today. Psalm 121. How many of you, that's one of my favorite psalms. And it says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. <clears throat> Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade ha, at your right hand. And the Lord shall not, the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. And the Lord shall preserve you from all evil, and he shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Our help comes from the Lord and our focus is on him. And he will lead us through this place, through this season. He has led us, continues to lead us, and he's causing us to be overcomers. The body of Christ changes and overcomes from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. Amen. Amen. So, well, let's open in prayer. If you want to stand, you can. If you want to walk around, please take your liberties to obey the Lord. Um, and here we go. Lord, we just thank you for tonight. Lord, we just thank you that you are our help. And Lord, we look to you to guide us, to direct us. We ask, Father, that tonight you would have your way, that Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome to lead us as we pray. You are welcome here, Holy Spirit. Have your way in us tonight. Lord, help us to hit the mark. Help us to pray. Help us to abide in you. Help our words to be your words. Help us to know what's on your heart, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we pray in agreement, Lord, that where two or more are gathered, Lord, that you are in our midst, and that, Lord, when we touch and we agree and we are in your word and we have your word in us, that, Lord, our prayers will be done, that what you want to be done will be accomplished, that your word will not return void, Lord, we yield to you tonight, Lord. Release intercession, release travail. Give us vision for our topics, vision for our nation, vision for souls, visions for miracles, Lord. Help us, Lord, to pray. Give us fire. Give us passion, Lord. Stir us up, oh God, tonight, Lord. We just shake off the day's events. We shake off our heaviness, Lord. We shake off weariness, Lord. And we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would come and you would quicken us and that you would equip us, Lord, that you would move in us, you would move through us, Holy Spirit, that, Lord, there would be a lightnings coming from heaven, Lord, that you would bring answers and that you would bring breakthroughs, Lord, and we give you glory, we give you honor and praise, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. So I'll start out praying for our nation and for our government officials at a national, state, county, city, uh, levels. Lord, we just thank you for our nation. Lord, we thank you for the United States of America. We thank you for the nation where you have placed us, Lord. Your word says that you uh, ordain and appoint our times, our seasons, our boundaries, and where we would live, Lord. And we thank you that we live here. We thank you for the nations that we live in, Lord. And we just ask God that you would have mercy in United States, that you would have mercy in our nation, Lord God, that you would move in our nation, Lord. We declare that you rule and you reign in the midst of our nation. 
You rule and you reign, Lord God. You rule and you reign and you move, Lord, in our nation. You would move in our lives. You would move in our leaders, Lord God. Father, we just ask, Lord, tonight that, Lord, you would just move powerfully. Lord, we pray, Father, for our president and our vice president tonight. Lord, we ask God that you would give them wisdom. We ask, Lord, that they would have a heart that would be turned towards you. Lord, we declare tonight that, Lord, the king's heart is in your hands, that our president and our vice president hearts would be in your hands, and, Lord, that you would direct them and you would direct the course that they would go, Lord God. We ask, Lord, Father, that you would send godly men and women and counselors and advisors into their lives, that, Lord, wherever they would look to the left, to the right, forward, behind, but there would be a godly man all about them, a godly woman all around them, Lord, that is speaking words of life, speaking words of wisdom, speaking words based upon the word of God. Father, that they would hear, they would be into, into they would be overcome, Lord, with your word all around them, Lord, and that they would, Lord, make decisions out of that wisdom, Lord. We ask, God, that you would reign upon their hearts, that you would reign and you would soften them, Lord God, and, Father, that their heart would be open to the gospel. Lord, we pray for our representatives. We pray for our senators, Lord, and we ask, God, that you would give them wisdom, Lord, that you would release a spirit of wisdom and a spirit of counsel over them, Lord. Father, that they would make laws that are based on your word, that they would make laws, Lord, that are fair to all mankind. Father, that they would walk in compassion and empathy for the people that they serve, that, Lord, they would not, Lord, they would not be moved by greed. They would not be moved by wanting more power, but, Lord, they would be moved by the needs of the people they serve and the best interest for those that they serve. Lord, that you would begin to change the way they think. You would begin to change the way they reason, Lord, that they would begin, hey, they would begin to think according to your principles, Lord. We pray, Father, for boldness for those that are men and women of God that are filled with the Spirit of God that are in those places of leadership. Lord, that there would be a boldness that would come upon them to stand up and to step up and to speak what is right, to do what is right, Lord, that they would not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. They would not be ashamed of the word. And Lord, they would begin to speak it and they would begin to walk in it. And Lord, it would begin to change the atmosphere in the halls of Congress, begin to change in the atmosphere, Lord, begin to speak the word of the Lord. Father, we ask, Lord, even those that are preparing for elections in the upcoming years, that Lord, you would put the right men and the right women at the right place at the right time. And Lord, that you would give them a favor favor, favor, and finances, Lord, that finances would come into their hands, Lord, and that they would step up and be the men and women of God that you have called them to be. We pray for open doors, that, Lord, they would be in the right place at the right time, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for those that you have placed in authority, and we pray for those that you are raising up, Lord, tonight. Father, we pray for the state of Indiana. We pray for our governors, Lord. We pray, Lord, Lord, that you would move in our governor's heart, that, Lord, you would give him wisdom, that he would walk in wisdom, Lord, that he would walk in humility, Lord. Father, we pray for godly counselors in that level of government also, Lord, and, Lord, that they would make laws in Indiana that would profit the people, and that would be a blessing to the people, and that would walk in righteousness, walk in holiness, and walk in truth, oh God. Father, we pray, Lord, for those governors in states that are taking a stand for life and we ask God that you would help them to continue to stand for life that they would stand for life, that they would stand for what is right, that they will not bow to pressure from the enemy. They won't bow to peer pressure. They won't fear losing money. But, Lord, they'll stand, and they'll see you provide. They'll see supernatural ways that you would bring provision to their states, oh God. Lord, let life reign and rule. Let the value of life be raised in America, Lord. Let us know, Lord, that you have created human life. 
Lord, at every level. Lord, we pray, Father, that laws would uh, give life to those, give life to humans, give life to the unborn, give life, oh God, and that you would move, Lord. We pray for our cities. We pray for our counties. Lord, we pray for revival. We pray for a move. We pray, God, that you would move in our cities. We pray for our mayors. We pray for, Lord, our commissioners at county levels. Lord, we pray for godly men and women to begin to arise and to take their place, to arise, Lord. Even those that think, oh, I can't do that. I can't be on the school board. I can't be a councilman. But, Lord, that you would give them dreams and you would call them. Lord, we call them to take their place of righteousness. We call them to take their place, Lord, in the government level, at a city level, Lord. We call them forth that, Lord, what righteous men and women and righteous voices would be heard, Lord, in our cities and in our towns, Lord. We pray for the peace of our nation. We pray for your peace to rule and reign. We pray for your peace in our county. We pray for your peace in Lafayette and West Lafayette, Lord. Let the peace of God rule and reign, Lord. Let chaos, Lord, die down and bring forth order, Lord. You bring order out of chaos, Lord. You bring peace out of, of oh, and chaos, Lord. We just ask God that you would move and Lord that you, Lord, would be glorified and you would be lifted up, oh God. Father, we cry out tonight. We cry out tonight, Lord, for a breakthrough in our nation. We pray for a breakthrough in our nation, Lord. Let the men and women of God begin to cry out, Lord, at a new level for our nation, for our cities. Give the body of Christ a vision to impact their cities, to impact their counties, Lord. Give us vision, Lord, how we can help, how we can make a difference, Lord. Lord, give us a vision that helps the love of God flow out of the church and into the nation, into the cities, into the communities. Lord, you've called us to be a light. You've called us to be light in darkness, Lord. And Father, let that light shine. Let that light shine. Let your glory shine. Let it shine in Lafayette. Yet. Let it shine in West Lafayette. Let the light overpower the darkness, Lord. Let us get our focus on what is right. Let us get our focus upon what is you. Let us get our focus back on you, oh God, that you rule and you do reign now. You rule and you reign now. You rule, Lord God. You rule in our nation. You rule in our cities. You rule, Lord God, and let your will be done. Let your your will be done in America. Let your will be done in Indiana. Let your will be done in the nations, oh God. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Pastor Bobby will lead us as we pray for repentance. E kika siki ya bosada ya bosada bahura baha. E ate siko la bosada siki ya dosada ya bosi. Oh, saki gaba. You say righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. You say blessed is the nation who God is the Lord. Lord, we declare over this nation of America that God is Lord. We declare over this nation that God is Lord. We declare over this nation God is Lord. We declare, Lord God, what the pilgrim said over this nation of its purpose and destiny, that it will fulfill it, Lord God, no matter what, Lord God. And every sin that has been committed to turn us away from that founding foundation of purpose and destiny that the pilgrims laid, Lord, when they laid the flag and declared over this nation that it will be a nation, Lord God, that will preach the gospel of godliness. Lord God, we declare the same over this nation. And we declare that there will come repentance, a spirit of repentance in this nation. 
to turn it back to its founding foundation, Lord God. And as far as we walked away from it, we ask you to forgive us, Lord God, when we forgot it in our school, when we forgot it, Lord God, in our education, when we forgot it in our government, wherever it has been forgotten, we say return America to your foundations in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Forgive us for every one of us that have been stiff-necked. Forgive us for every one of us that have been stubborn. Forgive us for our pride and arrogance and self-righteousness, Lord God. Forgive us for our hard-heartedness that comes about from sin. Forgive us, Lord God, for walking in all stubbornness, Lord God. Anti you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that godly sorrow will work repentance to salvation in this nation lord break the yoke lord god and cause godly sorrow to do his work in our hearts in this nation lord god we also ask you to bring fruits that meet for repentance in this nation lord god bring the fruit of repentance of turning back to you lord god as we should lord god i ask you father may you give us repentance to the acknowledging of the truth what the truth truly is, Lord God, we ask for even now. We ask you also that all should come to the state of repentance. In this nation, wherever we have missed it, wherever we have gone wrong, Lord God, for you say a house divided against itself cannot stand, Lord God. Lord God, ask us, uh, forgive us for our division, for Christ is not divided. Forgive us for our confusion. Forgive us for our double-mindedness. Forgive us, Lord, for our revolt against leadership and authority. Forgive us for all insurrections, seditions, Lord God, incitements, Lord God, to rebellion, incitement, to riot, agitation. Forgive us, Lord God, for all revolution thoughts and ideas against America <clears throat> and its foundation, rising and riotings, Lord God, civil disorder, civil disobedience, civil unrest lord god forgive us lord god for all the fighting between ourselves lord god as we war against one another schism resistance disturbance upheaval lord god insubordinations lord god defiance lord god forgive us what we have missed it so badly lord forgive us for all our fear and fearful and unbelieving and doubt Forgive us, Lord God, for being horror and for fright of tomorrow, that there is no tomorrow, but there is tomorrow because there's a God of tomorrow, just like there's a God of today. Forgive us for all our panic, dismay, Lord God. Lord God, for being scared and dreadful and full of terror and torment, phobies and nervousness, Lord God, for all cold fretting, Lord God, uneasiness, Lord God, all torment that comes from fear, Lord God, despair, worry, loss of courage, uh, Lord God, forgive us, Lord God, for not staying where we need to trust in your word as we should, Lord. Forgive us for our proud looks, our lying tongues, our hands that have shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imagination, feet that be swift to run to mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, and a brother that sows discord among the brethren. Lord God, we ask you now in Jesus' name, to hear our hearts and forgive us in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Lord Jesus, we come before you and we thank you for the privilege of coming together for there's power in your prayer. You say in your word where there's two or three gathered in your name that you are in the midst of us and you are here, Lord Jesus Christ. You are here, Father, because of your blood, not because of what we do, not because of our actions or our abilities, Father. It's because of your blood that we could come boldly before you, Lord, and we humble ourselves before you. But at the same time, we draw near with a sincere heart, Father. And just like Pastor Bobby um, was, was praying on repentance, Father, we come to you in repentance father every day we must die to our flesh we must die to ourselves lord jesus christ so we ask you father that you would remove anything that's not of you father in the name of jesus christ anything that wants to take place in our heart lord jesus christ that's not of you we ask you to remove it from the root in the name of jesus christ through your precious blood in the name of jesus lord I ask you, and I, and I lift up the body of Christ before you. And just like our pastor was ministering yesterday, 
that we would make the, make the main thing the main thing, Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, that you would eliminate all distraction now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that doesn't edify, anything that doesn't point to you, Lord Jesus Christ, may we get rid of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Father, to rise up boldly as the body of Christ, as your bride, that we would rise above, Lord Jesus Christ, any distraction, any scheme of the enemy that we will remember that we're seated with you in heavenly places in a place of authority lord jesus christ where the enemy is in the valleys and we are in a place of authority once again because it is because of your blood it is because of your word it is because of your grace it is because of your spirit this is not of us lord we humble ourselves before you we cannot do nothing without you we are ignorant without you lord jesus christ we are weak without you lord but father you have chosen to be with us father to be glorified to be high and lifted up so lord jesus christ we ask that you would remove all distraction from the body of christ anything that is causing us to derail in the name of jesus christ help us to live a god-centered life vertically with you and horizontal among one another in the name of jesus christ i ask you lord that you would eliminate all backbiting, all clamoring, all, all, all murmuring in the name of Jesus Christ over our pastor and, and in the positions that you have placed us, placed him to lead, Lord Jesus Christ. We say yes and amen to the apostle that you have placed in this house. And we ask you, Lord Jesus, that you would remove all, all clamoring, all murmuring against, all backbiting against our pastor, against the staff in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm just being led by the Holy Spirit. There's nothing going on, but we're just being led by the Holy Spirit, and there has been some backbiting. So we ask, Lord Jesus Christ, that you would make those words fall down to the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the leader that you have placed in this house. We thank you because up to this day, you have kept them healthy, as well as his wife, as well as the pastors, as well as their spouses, as well as their children. We thank you you lord jesus christ for this awesome congregation we thank you father for every leader that is at whitehorse christian center i thank you for all the youth leaders i thank you father for those that work with our children i thank you for those that work behind the scenes that are not seen in camera but lord jesus they're seen by you when they're praying in the closet when they're crying out to you i thank you lord jesus christ for stirring us up we are one body Body, and we declare that the body of Christ is marching forward left right left right left right but we march forward your word says in Hebrews that we are not the ones that take a step back we take a step forward and in the name of Jesus Christ we have confidence we are bold because you are with us you have promised to be with us every day until we see you Lord so, Lord Jesus Christ, I have this image in my head of a child just hanging on to a father as he walks and he just clings on. That is us, Lord. We are dependent on you, Lord. We cannot do nothing without you. We are empowered by your spirit. It is your legacy, Father. It is your blood. It is your power that runs through our veins. You have given us a blood transfusion. Our blood has been contaminated. Our blood tends to be contaminated and we're in desperate need of your precious blood to flow father in our bodies and cleanse us from our unrighteousness oh we come before you <sighs> and we just repent lord we repent lord i believe you demand more from us you say in your word to whom much is given much will be required much is demanded and you also say, give freely what freely you've received. So, Lord Jesus Christ, you deserve more. And we just stand here before you. We humble ourselves before you. And we just lay our lives as a living sacrifice on the altar. We ask you to operate in our hearts, in our hearts, not in our brother's hearts, in our hearts, in our own individual hearts. 
Everything is tied to the heart, Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that we do on earth is tied to the heart. And if our heart is rotten, everything we do will be contaminated and will have no fruit. That is unacceptable before you. You hold us to a higher standard and you deserve more than that, Lord. You have invested into us. So we cry out to you, Lord, for the leadership that we would be people of integrity, that we would represent you well. We don't want to fall short. We don't want to misrepresent you. We ask for your grace, for your Holy Spirit to hover upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Revive us, O oh Lord. Revive every single one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. How dare we expect to resurrect people that are spiritually dead if we're not revived ourselves. So Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that you start with me first. Start with us first. Start with our heart. Oh, that's a prayer. That's a prayer that many do not do, Father. So, but we're in desperate need of a sovereign move of you, Lord. And we ask you to deal with our hearts. We ask you to annihilate any pride. All that pride just gets in the way, Lord. Help us to clothe ourselves in humility every single day and not leave that garment in the closet. That we would go into the closet and put on that garment of humility every day every day that we would be like you in the name of Jesus Christ we ask for supernatural provision we ask for supernatural provision father time after time you have blessed your people Lord even in drought They're, they live in abundance we live in abundance when there is drought when there father it is, it's times of desolation. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you because we have been able to give more in this season to the nations than any other season. And we say, come, Lord. We say, come. We ask that you would open up the heavens in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to have a hunger for your word. A hunger for your presence and a hunger for souls. I'm going to repeat it again. I ask that you give us a hunger for your word. That when we go to sleep, the last thing on our mind is you. Just like when a person is in love, the last thing on their mind is the person they love. Lord Jesus Christ, that is my prayer for the body of Christ. Us as ministers, as ambassadors, as representatives of you, that we would go to sleep thinking of you. And that we would wake up thinking of you. And throughout our day, that we would be thinking about you. And that we would tell you how much we love you. And that we wouldn't just tell you, that we would show you. And that we wouldn't just go through the motions, but that we would be receptive. That same spirit that Pastor Gary has to witness, to evangelize. We want that, Lord. That anybody that would be within our reach, we would talk to them about you, Lord that we would shine, that we would ooze love, that we would ooze your Holy Spirit, Lord. I thank you, Father, for this beautiful place. I thank you for this center, for this equipping center, this launching center. I thank you. It's a form of Antioch, a launching base to the missions. And I thank you for this place. I ask that you bless all the leaders and the extended family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Pastor Gary will lead us as we pray for souls and salvations. As we begin praying for souls and uh, not only just salvations, but deliverances and freedom and that God would just begin to pour out his love that would draw all men unto him, that we as the body of Christ would be able to lift him up and raise him up. The, today I had some time, 30 minutes before 6.30 to 7, just to pray about tonight. And I'll, I'll just take just a moment. Uh, the Lord really showed me over the, the progression of the last three or four Sundays how, I, as I'm sure you know, as intercessors, things are igniting. You know, prophetic words are just popping up, and uh, I believe miracles are just right on the horizon as well. And worship is just intensifying. People are coming for prayer. It's just it's getting stronger. So as I was praying this this evening, I was I just asked the Lord. I said, Lord. 
just open up the doors for salvation. Just start opening the doors for salvation. We, we in this room facing this direction have had hundreds of people come to the front, come right up here and give their heart to the Lord. And Pastor Jess preached messages and said, repeat after me. And hundreds of people have, have prayed that prayer and, and been assured of their salvation. So, you know, I'm just in my office crying out, Lord, open up the doors. Open up the doors for salvation. And just as clear as a bell, he spoke to me and said, in Revelation, it says, I think it's 320, it says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. I feel like what he's saying is he's standing at the door and knocking for us to open the doors for salvation. So tonight, if you, if you have a heart for souls and you can maintain your social distance and do what we ask you to do and would like to come up here and just stand on like the line, like keep like where the X's are or whatever, keep your distance and just pray that God would open up the doors of salvation. I just invite you to come now. If you got a heart for that, just not, of course, everybody can't, but if you can space yourself and I believe God is going to begin flooding the altars with people giving their life to the Lord. And I've, I don't think it's just going to come out of our area, out of our congregation. I literally believe people are going to come in the parking lot and not even know why they're coming and, and just come and just say, I need, I need to change my life. I, I, you know, pastor preached it Sunday. What are you focusing on? <laughs> what are you looking at? You know, the Messiah is being born angels. There's angelic visitation. And so as we begin praying for souls, just, you know, right where you are on this line, just begin to cry out that God had opened up the door. So Lord, we, hey, we ask you to open up the doors of salvation, Lord. Lord, we know that there's a wellspring of salvation flowing right out of the throne room of heaven, God. Lord, as you've opened up these lines for revival, we ask you, Lord, in the rivers of revival that flow through this place, we cry out for souls right now. Lord, as intercessors, we tug on heaven right now for souls, God. We're asking you, Lord, to bring salvation to our houses bring salvation to our children bring salvation to our neighbors god we cry out for souls lord we know when you get when souls come deliverance is come lord addictions are broken the chains are broken the pornography falls off god we cry out for souls into your kingdom god freedoms and deliverances lord alcoholism gone in Jesus' name, pornography gone. In Jesus' name, bondage to drugs gone. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. Souls are coming. Souls are coming by the busloads, Lord. Hey, Lord, we just pray that even now that West Lafayette would have to put another bus route in front of our church to get people in this place, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that they come in with crutches and chains and walkers, but they walk out free for the whom the sun sets free is free indeed. So we ask you, Lord, for freedom right now. Freedom for the students on the campus of Purdue University. Freedom from those that are in daycare, Lord. Freedom from those who are in bondage, God. We ask you, Lord, for souls, souls, souls. Come on, intercessors souls we do our job as birthing souls into the kingdom right now lord hey we don't we don't grow weary in well-doing we ask you lord to bring them from the north bring those souls from the north bring those souls lord from the south we say come we say come from the east souls we say come from the west we say come lord we ask you to draw those that are hungry and thirsty those who have never tasted the heavenly gift of Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, that a baptism of fire would fall on them. As soon as they're born again, God, we ask you to baptize them into the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues. Lord, we pray that you march them straight to the celery bog, right across the street and start baptizing them in water, Lord. That there rise up discipleship ministry out of this place to disciple them and equip them and get them ready to go, Father. Now, Lord, we pray for our homes right now. Those that we know that aren't walking with you, those that are, aren't discipled, those, oh, Lord, our neighbors that don't know you, our neighbors that don't know you, Lord, 
Put boldness in us as intercessors. Put boldness in us as intercessors, Lord. Father, I pray you give us a shot of Pitocin that we're not afraid to give birth, that we're not afraid to travail, that we're not afraid to intercede, that we're not afraid to, we won't hold back. We won't shut up. We won't put up with what the devil's doing anymore. That we take our rightful place as sons and daughters of the Most High God and we start calling them in. Lord, that we walk as ambassadors to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, that we walk like a lion, that we roar like a lion, that we may be gentle as doves. But Lord, we walk in boldness and we walk in authority. We thank you, Lord, that we will not be intimidated, that we'll lay hands on the sick and watch them recover. Lord, that we'll see blind eyes opened and ears opened right now, lungs corrected in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, for that you have placed power in our hands, not just power for healing, but power for spiritual healing, Lord. We ask you for miracles of new birth right now. Can a man be born again? Can he go back into his mother's womb a second time? Jesus said, you don't understand. You don't understand. Lord, give us the ability to communicate what the world cannot understand. Father, give us a revelation of heaven. Hey, give us a revelation of what we're headed into. Lord, put in perspective this measly little vapor that we're living in right now. Help us to understand eternity with you, singing with an angelic choir in a city made of gold. Lord, streets of gold and gates of pearls. Father, where we do nothing but worship you holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Lord, let us start crying that out right now. Father, let us get our focus off the government and focus off some kind of alleged disease lord let us look at the disease of sin and realize we've got the cure we've got the vaccine <laughs> lord we've got it we ask you father to make us lifeguards in god's kingdom right now in jesus name throw in a lifeline lord throw in a lifeline lord thank you father for souls thank you lord for souls thank you lord for souls thank you lord for souls and father right now Phew. Everyone that's praying, if you're online or if you're praying here in the sanctuary, I want you just to get a picture of that person that's on your heart. The one you know needs the Lord. The one that's just been, that they're so close. They're so close. And right now, I want you to just thank the Lord for, begin, for bringing them into the kingdom. Lord, we thank you. We thank you in advance, Lord, for bringing them into the kingdom. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise that they're born again. We call things that are not as they are, but we call them like they're going to be, Lord. We call them in right now. We call them in right now, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for salvation. Thank you, Lord, for salvation. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Come on, church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Come on, give the Lord a big shout of praise. Thank you, Lord. Praise the 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 Lord. If you want, you can go back to your seats. But if you're in travail and intercession, please yeah, stay where you are. Stay you, where you, if you are. You need to stay. Stay. Hey, you don't, you don't birthing, have to go. You're birthing souls. <laughs> yeah, let them come. Let Birth them it. come, Lord. Birthing travail. Yeah, the water's breaking. Lord, we thank you for travail. We thank you, Lord God, for new birth. We thank you for souls, Lord. We thank you for a birthing in the kingdom of God. We thank you for an enlargement of the kingdom of God. We thank you, Lord. Enlargement, yes, yes, enlargement, yes, 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 yes
We thank you, Lord, for swinging wide the gates of salvation. Swinging wide the gates of salvation. Swinging wide, wide, wide the gates of salvation, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for making a way. We thank you, Lord God. Sunday, Lord, we just consecrate our altars hey. to your glory and to your kingdom, that there's a purity and a holiness that will flow, a holiness, hey. a purity in the river of God that flows, Lord, and that when they come, that they will be washed, Lord, that they will be baptized in your spirit, Lord, that new life, that they will meet you here, Lord, that their salvation would be secure, yes, that their yes, salvation yes. would be solid, that they would not come here and then go to the world, but Lord, they'll keep in the kingdom of God. They will not walk with one foot in the world and one foot in you. But Lord, a sold out salvation, a sold out salvation, a sold out all in, all in for the kingdom of God, all in for the kingdom of God, all in for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you, Lord God, for a completeness that you are able, you are able, Jesus, you are able to present them faultless you are able to cleanse you are able to deliver yes. you are able to bring them yes, out of lord. darkness lord you are able to break every chain and every You're darkness enough, lord god, god. you are enough, able god. to break every addiction lord enough, you are able you are able You're jesus enough, you are god. able when they come up here they will meet with you oh god the deliverer the deliverer of their souls a deliverer is coming forth a deliverer shall arise a deliverer will be here a deliverer will meet them in the river a deliverer his name is Jesus his name is Jesus his hey. name is Jesus the King of Kings hey. the Lord of glory hey. the Lord of hey. holiness the Lord of purity hey. a purifying of his people a bringing forth the holy people hey. Hey. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hey, in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. All sins gone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. All chains break. Hey, all chains fall down in the name of Jesus, Lord. Hey, Sharamama Sekeremahaya. Hey, and we cover our families, Lord, in the name of Jesus. With the blood, with the blood of Jesus, Lord, we cover, we cover our families in the name of Jesus, Lord. We cover, Lord, our marriage in the name of Jesus, every marriage in the name of Jesus, Lord. Dear God, dear God, we ask you, we ask you, Lord, for the children in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless, bless, bless our children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless the baby. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, bless, 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 Lord. Hey, Remakaya Soko, expecting mothers, Lord, we bless in the name of Jesus. We declare in blessings in the name of Jesus. We declare in protection in the name of Jesus, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Expecting mother is blessing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Ramashanda, Lord, bless the youth people in the name of Jesus. Isalama mama seke bring Lord bring 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 ay alabashanda holiness Lord in the name of Jesus in the youth people Lord guide Lord guide the youth people in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord we ask you Lord for wisdom we ask you Lord for good ideas we ask you Lord for new beginnings in the youth people in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord bless bless the youth people 
Rama Socorre Amashanda, the finances, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, Riyama Socorre Mahaya. Bless the generations within families, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask you, Lord, we ask you, because you are God, you are God, you are our God, Lord, hey, Shalama, and you love us, Lord, you love us, Lord, thank you, thank you, Lord, for your mercy, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, hey, Shakama Sanda, thank you, Lord, for your love, hey, Shama Haya Haya, we declare him. We declare in victory, 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 victory in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ooh, shakalama. We declare in freedom, freedom, freedom in the name of Jesus. Hey, Rama, Mama, Seke, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús, en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre, Señor. Le decimos no al pecado, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret. Las cadenas caen ahora mismo. En el nombre que es sobre todo nombre y bendecimos Señor a nuestras familias y bendecimos cada matrimonio, bendecimos a los bebés, a los niños Señor, bendecimos a nuestros jóvenes, guíalos Señor, que tu Espíritu Santo los guíe, que tu Espíritu Santo les traiga nuevas ideas, que tu Espíritu Santo los bendiga en el nombre de Jesús, bendice a cada madre Señor, a cada mujer que está esperando bebé en el nombre nombre de Jesús, en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre, Señor, te pedimos ahora y siempre. Hey. I'm going to pray for students and teachers in our 20 to 40 year olds. Lord, we just thank you for our children. We thank you, Lord, for our teachers. We thank you, Lord, for our school districts. We thank you for administrators. We thank you for superintendents. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for our education system. And we pray, Lord, that there would be a revamp in our education system. Lord, we pray that the name of Jesus would be lifted in the halls. We pray, Lord God, that you would move in the halls of our schools and that, Lord, those that are teachers, Lord, those that are administrators on the school board would be godly men and women. Lord, that they would rise up, Lord, in their prayers and their declarations. And Lord, let those prayers be manifested in their actions. Let there be results in their students and in their schools, Lord. Father, we just pray, God, that you would move in might and you would move in power. Lord, give the teachers strength to stand their ground. Give them strength to stand. Lord, girl, Guard up their loins and let them run. Let them run with you, Lord, with a new strength to finish the school year, Lord. Give them wisdom, Lord. Give them wisdom for next year. Give administrators and superintendents wisdom to make uh, rules for next year, Lord, as they face these unprecedented times, Lord. But let them be made in wisdom. Lord, let them be based on your word. Lord, let godly men and women rise up in those places. Lord. Father, we thank you for the wind of God that is blowing in this place and is blowing across the body of Christ. Lord, let it blow over our teachers. Let it blow over our students. Let it blow over our teenagers. Let it blow, Lord, and raise them up for such a time as this, oh God. Father, we thank you for our young adults, and we thank you, Lord, for emerging leaders, Lord. Let them rise up, Lord. Let them shake off the dust from the past. Let them take off the the blinders that have kept him distracted. Lord, let them see the word of God. Let them see the vision of God. Let them see what you've called them to be. Lord, give them a greater hunger for you. Lord, give them a greater hunger for your word. Give them a greater hunger for purity. Lord, let them walk in humility and let them watch you open doors for them. That Lord, you are the one who opens doors. You are the one that fulfills their destiny. You are the one that fulfills the call of God on their lives. Lord, let them seek you like they have never sought you before. May there be prayers and may there be fastings in their lives, Lord, as they turn to you, Lord. We pry out for them, Lord. Continue the work and let the wind of God begin to blow and continue to blow and the heavens open wider over them. Let the heavens be opened wide over them, Lord, and let them see, let them see the glory of God. Let them see who you are, Lord. Let them see who you've called them to be. Let them know 
who you are, Lord. Let them be like Job who said, oh, I have heard of you, but now my eye has seen. Lord, let them see you and let them know you and let them, let them come to a greater and deeper relationship with you in Jesus' name. Hele Baha Sunday. Missions, nations, persecuted church, those that we have ordained. Father, in the name Irabasa. In the name of Jesus, Father, you said you so loved the world <laughs> that you gave your only begotten Son. And so it is in that name that we come tonight, in the name of Jesus, and we lift up, oh God, hey God, we lift up the nations, Lord God. We call Canada, oh God, <laughs> into remembrance, oh God. Canada and Russia, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We cry out for India, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We cry out for Africa, oh God. We cry out for Ghana and Kenya and the Uganda, Lord God. We cry out for Belize, oh God, and Nepal and Vietnam, oh God. China, oh God, and those that are being persecuted in those nations, oh God. For your name's sake, we ask, oh God, as we lift up the persecuted church to you, Lord. We ask for strength for those, oh God, that stands, that they would stand strong in their faith, Lord, and your love for you, oh God. We thank you right now for their families, oh God, and the loved ones from whom they have been separated, oh God. You said huh, when mother and father forsake, oh God, that you would take us up, oh God. I ask that you would take them up, oh God. Wrap them up in your arms and your love. Let them feel your presence, oh God. Let them not waver, oh Lord. Let them stand strong. Let them stand strong. Let them stand strong. We thank you right now for those whose families have forsaken them, oh God. Have, hey, Hey, have forsaken them because they have chosen you, Lord. They have chosen you and your way. We ask, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would, hey, strengthen them in every way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to stand, and when they've done all to stand, help them to stand there for, oh God, strong in you, oh God, strong in you. Help them to stand on the rock, oh God, that never moves, oh God. Help them to stand, oh God. We thank you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you just would continue, hey God, to keep them, to strengthen them, oh God. Let them not waver, and even in the, hey in the face of martyrdom, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, let them not waver. Give them strength, oh God, to do that which you have called them to do. We thank you right now, Father. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus and in those countries where starvation is, Lord God, hey God. We ask, oh God, that there would be enough to fill the fields, oh God, in the name of Jesus that the weather conditions would be as such to bring a great harvest, oh God, to those that are in need, oh God. We thank you right now, Father, for the machinery being working in working condition, Lord God. Let there be no hindrances whatsoever, whether it be mechanical or weather-wise, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let those fields be filled, oh God, to the fullest, oh God, so that the fields, the animals, the people, children, whoever has a need, oh God, let them be able to fill bowls. Bowls be filled in the name of Jesus. 
bellies be filled in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, Father, that starvation is bound now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you right now, Father, for the, hey, God. We thank you right now, Father, for the workers, oh, God, to be able to work the fields, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, Father, for all those who have put their hands to the plow, oh, God. Let them not look back. Let them not be discouraged, oh, God, in any way. We thank you right now. I ask you, Father, oh, God, to, hey, God, to knit those together that are ordained under this umbrella, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Tighten the knots, Lord God, so that the communication, oh God, will not be broken, oh God. And when there is a cry or for need, oh God, let us be able to hear. We thank you right now, Father, for that that you have made us a blessing, to be a blessing, oh God, that you have filled, hey, full, oh God, for us to be dispensing vessels, oh God. We thank you for all that we have been able to give, oh God, that there has been no lack, and there is no lack in you. You can still and will do the miraculous, Lord God. Hey, your arm is not short. Hey, God, and you see. You look to and fro, and you see, and you know, and you hear the cries, and you answer. We just thank you, Father, for making us and answer, oh God, to soul's cries in the name of Jesus. We just give you thanks and praise and all honor and all glory belong to you. And we give you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Gary will come and he's going to pray for miracles and healings. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we just lift up to you specifically the body of Christ. We pray, Father, that you start the miracle working power right in our local bodies and wherever our churches are, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to touch and heal Christians' bodies right now. And, Father, we don't ask you for that selfishly, but we ask you that so you can put us out into the field, Lord, with a testimony of look what God did in me. We pray, God, that you would just begin, even right now, Lord, with backs. Lord, every pulled muscle, every degenerated vertebrae, Lord, every pinched nerve, we ask you, Father, for healing in Jesus' name. Father, your word says that when we take communion, we're to remember what you did for us. So, Father, we remember that 39 stripes were laid across your son's back for our healing. We thank you, Lord, that every sickness, every disease, every rejection, every bone out of place, Lord, every strained muscle, everything was born on the cross of Calvary, Lord. Every abandonment, every discouragement, Lord. Lord, that even the thorns that were driven into his mind takes care of every mental disorder, Lord. So we remember what was done on the cross. We thank you, Lord, that you purchased our healing on the cross, Lord. So we ask you, Father, to pour divine healing out upon our bodies. Lord, that you give us the boldness to lay hands on the sick and watch them recover. We pray, Father, right now for miracles, Lord. We thank you, Father, for miracles happening this month. Lord, we thank you for the miracles we've already heard about, Lord, the 99% the sure this is a cancerous tumor being nothing more than just flesh, and they just take it out and throw it away, Lord. We thank you for the miracle of no more CAT scans and no more radiation. <laughs> we thank you, Lord, for the miracles of, of women not having to have mastectomies, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for miracles in eyes right now. Hey, Tiki Moshote, cataracts dissolving right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for those little miracles. <laughs> Lord, we thank you, Father, for the little miracles, Lord. Lord, we ask you to tune our eyes and our ears in for miracles, Lord, that we not take anything for granted. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. God, we thank you for your grace. What a miracle. Lord, we thank you for... <laughs> the gifts and the fruit of Holy Spirit. The miracle of prophetic words. We thank you, Lord, for the word that came forth out of this local congregation about breakthrough. And right now we say breakthrough in healing. Breakthrough in healing. 
breakthrough right now in healing breakthrough in touching bodies arthritis gone right now in jesus name tendonitis gone right now in jesus name bursitis gone right now in jesus name freedom 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 from financial bondage due to the medical industry lord we thank you father for walking in divine health we thank you lord for your word because god your word says that healing is the children's bread so lord we just take a big piece of bread right now we eat that bread lord your your word says jesus broke the bread on the night he was betrayed and said take this this is my body broken for you so we take what was broken for us lord we thank you lord for the body we thank you lord for the blood of jesus and we walk in divine health lord we thank you for your word in thessalonians that says that you want us whole complete complete body soul spirit lord and we give you praise and glory for that in jesus name amen pastor ignacio will come as he leads us to pray for revival hallelujah thank you holy spirit for your grace Thank you, Lord, for your victory. Hallelujah. We celebrate the, your victory in the cross. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we proclaim freedom in your name. And in the name of all name, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. In your presence, Lord. In your presence, hallelujah. We are in your glory, Lord. And thank you because we will be touched your glory, Lord. Thank you for your revival in the church. Thank you for your revival in us. Thank you for your mercy in us. Thank you, Lord, because we walk in faith in the name of Jesus. We walk in faith and we will be see your miracles, your wonders in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your authority in the name of Jesus. We take the authority of Jesus Christ right now and we we receive by faith right now your miracles, your wonders in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every heart right now burning your spirit right now Lord, in the name of Jesus. Send you fire. Send you glory. Send you anointing. Send you power Lord of the church in the name of Jesus. And thank you Lord because you revived to us. Thank you for your revival in us. Thank you because you produce victory in us. Thank you Lord because you changed my Saints, hallelujah. The, the, the diagnosis of the, 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 the medical diagnostic, you, you change those kind of things. Hallelujah. Thank you for because you heal the cancers. Thank you, Lord, because you heal her. Hallelujah. You are the healer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you touch everybody, every 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 home in the name of Jesus. Every one to cry to you, you will be touched them because it's your promise, Lord. Hallelujah. We knock, we seek your glory, Lord. We want to see more. We want to see, we want to move. In your glory, we want to walk in your glory. We want to walk in miracles. Thank you, Lord, because we, because we will be see your miracles. And thank you, Lord, because, because right now we celebrate by faith the victory we will receive now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for the salvation of my family. Thank you for the salvation of my father, my mother. Hallelujah for those who, Lord, with have sickness in the name of Jesus. All those who have problems. Lord, thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for you moved your hands in the favor of the church. And in the name of Jesus, bless the congregation right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you produce strength in us in the name of Jesus. And you produce something new in us. And thank you for the anointing in us. And thank you, Lord, because you produce new beginning in us. And in the name of Jesus, thank you for this new beginning. Thank you, Lord, because this revival, we celebrate this revival right now in the name of Jesus. We walk by faith faith right now Lord hallelujah step by step will we see your glory step by step will we see your mercy step by step Lord will we see you move in the name of Jesus thank you Lord because you we we trust in you Lord we you bring to us a strength to, to to believe again in the name of Jesus we need believe again in the name of Jesus people need believe again in the name of Jesus and will we see your miracles and thank you Lord because we ask and we know because you are true God you are the true God you you are the true God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy
Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. This is your house. This is your place. This is your church. Lord, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We celebrate your victory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We say yes and amen, Lord, to your promise. Hallelujah. Because we trust in you, Lord, in your mercy. Thank you because you produce faith in us. And thank you for the fruit of your faith, the faith. Thank you, Lord, because you produce the character of Jesus Christ in us. And thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, best friend. Hallelujah. You are the best friend. Hallelujah. This house. Thank you, Lord, because you, you are the only one. Hallelujah. You are worthy of it all. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Hallelujah. We say thank you to you. We say thank you. We will be see more miracles and we will be see more glory, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Lord. Hallelujah. We ask and we knock for those pastors, Lord. We have situations. We need revival. We need you move. Lord, bless them in the name of Jesus. Bless Israel right now in the name of Jesus. Peace in Israel. Protection in Israel right now. Hallelujah. We need you, Lord, in Israel. Israel is your, is your people, Lord. And we ask, of, we knock for them in the name of Jesus. Send you peace. Send your authority in them in the name of Jesus. You have the control of all the situation in Israel right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord, because you, you are in control. Thank you, Lord. Change my mind. Change every mind in the name of Jesus to, to not see the circumstances. So we continue to see to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your grace. Thank you, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. And thank you. Because we'll be seeing more glory in this house. Thank you for the next Sunday. Thank you for the next month. Thanks for the next con conference. Thanks, Lord, for everything we will be doing in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the new finances to come in in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the, 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 the new building, the new things for you to provide to us. Thank you, Lord, because you, you will be bringing to new buildings to the pastors in the name of Jesus. And you will be produce more money in, the, in those churches with need and now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the miracle to come in now in the name of Jesus. We declare by faith your miracles right now in the name of Jesus. And thank you. Thank you, my faithful God. You are the faithful God. You, we trust in you because you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. And send you glory. And send you fire. And send you move, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Revival to us. Revival to church Lord again in the name of Jesus and thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus name Amen, Amen, Amen. Glory Amen. God, Hallelujah As we come to a close if you can stand and we'll just thank the Lord for tonight and give him glory for all that he's doing Lord we just thank you Lord we thank you we thank you Father for what you're doing we thank you, Lord, for answers to our prayers and that, Lord, we know that you hear us. We know, Lord God, that you hear our prayer and that you answer the cries of your saints, Lord. We thank you, God, for answers that are on route. We thank you, Lord, for souls coming into the kingdom tonight. We thank you for prodigals coming home. We thank you for family members coming home. We thank you, Lord God, for opening blind eyes. We thank you, Lord, for healings that we will see manifested, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor, Lord, and we glorify and we magnify your name name tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us online tonight. Whew. It has been powerful. We pray that the Lord would fill you where you are. We release you to pray your assignments and with the people that you are in fellowship with. Uh, we will be here next Monday night and we will see you then. Good night.